If you've ever thought that you've seen it all, get ready to be proven wrong. This is one of the weirdest, rarest, and most fascinating groups of animals in the world that you've likely never heard of. This is the couscous. Hi, I'm Danielle Dufault, and you're watching Animal Logic. The couscous is the one animal in the world that makes me wonder if the Mandela effect is real. How is it possible that I've lived to 34 and never learned of the existence of the most wonderfully weird group of marsupials? There are a few different species of couscous, but we're going to start with my favorite, the bear couscous. Don't let the name fool you, they are neither bear nor a North African dish. They are in fact marsupials from Indonesia. So it makes sense that they have furry bodies like koalas, are roughly the size of tree kangaroos, and share many characteristics with possums. The bear couscous is a beautifully strange mashup of many marsupials. They're like a marsupial megazord. There are two species in the bear couscous genus. Both species are named after the Indonesian islands where they can be found. The Talaud bear couscous lives on the Talaud Islands, and the Sulawesi bear couscous lives on the Sulawesi Island. Both animals are extremely elusive. But since Sulawesi is a much larger and more populated place, we know a lot more about the Sulawesi bear couscous. So that's the one that we'll be focusing on. Bear couscouses live in the tropical rainforests on top of the trees. They have long prehensile tails that lack fur on the bottom and are covered with rough papillae that help them grip branches. This, combined with their large claws, allows them to climb and jump from branch to branch with ease. The tail makes up half of their total body length, which can get up to a meter and a half long. They usually weigh the same as your average Boston Terrier. Bear couscouses have squat faces, short snouts, furry little ears, and big, round, yellow eyes. Then there's that thick, soft fur, dark on the outside and light on the belly. The animal's fur reminded people of a bear's, so that's where the couscous got its ursine-inspired name. Like most marsupials, Sulawesi bear couscouses are herbivores. They like to eat leaves, flowers, buds, and unripe fruit. This diet doesn't give them a ton of calories, though, so they get very little energy from food. Because of this, the bear couscous is very slow, very lethargic, and very sloth-like. Bear couscouses move through the trees with such grace that they've been also called the slow-motion acrobats of the forest. Take your time, little friend. No rush. Bear couscouses tend to be found in pairs, and they spend most of their time hanging out in trees and eating. I think I'd like to be a couscous. Like other marsupials, the female Sulawesi bear couscous gives birth to an underdeveloped baby. She'll have to carry her offspring in her belly pouch for another eight months. That's when the joey will be fully developed and can survive in the outside world. If you're still confused as to what exactly a couscous is, let me break it down for you. Couscous is the name given to about 20 species in four genera in the family Phalangeridae. They're technically considered possums. Not these possums, but these possums. One of the group's more extravagant members is the spotted couscous, who are known for their big, round spots. And it's only usually the males that have these spots. These little marvels are about the size of a house cat and can be found in Northern Australia, New Guinea, and on nearby small islands. They belong to the genus Spilocuscus. Like the bear couscous, the spotted couscous is known to be evasive and slow moving. This one has also been known to steal your girlfriend. Watch out! Their eyes come in many different, vibrant colors, and they are slit, much like a snake's. Since the spotted couscous is largely nocturnal, these slits are advantageous, as they can handle more diverse lighting conditions, giving them better night vision. Their diurnal cousins, the bear couscous, on the other hand, 
have rounded pupils, which are much more suited to lighter conditions. Then there's the Sulawesi dwarf couscous, who belongs to the genus Strigo couscous. They live on the same island as the Sulawesi bear couscous, and they also rock those big, bulging, tarsier eyes. Finally, we have the 13 different species in the Phalanger genus. There's the ground couscous, who lives in burrows they make on the ground. The northern common couscous, who's also known as the gray couscous, has almost white fur. Like most marsupials, all of these couscouses are nocturnal, except for one, our buddy, the bear couscous, who's mainly active during the day. So why aren't bear couscouses night owls like their couscous cousins? Maybe it's because they have so few natural predators. They aren't afraid to come out during the day and use the sun to help them find lots of food. But that's just a theory, because as we said before, there's still so much that we don't know about the bear couscous. It's an enigma wrapped in fur inside an Indonesian rainforest. These mysterious animals are only getting rarer thanks to habitat loss due to deforestation. Poachers also hunt them for their thick fur and meat. Because of this, Sulawesi bear couscouses are considered a vulnerable species. And their cousins, the Talaud bear couscouses, are critically endangered. They may be slow, shy, and perpetually hungry. Same. But we can't help but love these furry little couscous cuties. So what should we talk about next? Please let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe for new episodes every week. Thanks for watching. See ya!